there was a major highlight, which was about uh, 3.2 grams of uh, 23, almost 24 grams of gold, 16 grams silver, and 1% copper. But it was a real, uh, you know, a really high grade pop of 167 gram gold, 112 gram silver, and 6% copper over a half a meter, which is really good. Um, we kind of match the, the model that we've trying to prove so far. Hello to viewers tuning in to this session for Assay TV. Uh, we're getting an update today with Thermogold on their properties and drilling activity in the Chibugam complex in northern Quebec. And I'm very pleased to be catching up with David Grondon again, who's the CEO and president of Thermo. David, how's it going? Very good, you? Yeah, very well, thanks. Um, so uh, the good news is that you've got um, some fresh results back uh, on the Obaski project. Um, so we've been reading. Um, could you tell us about what's the update there? Yes, well, we've, we've just re received this, uh, this morning the last batch of results. Uh, there was a major highlight, which was about uh, 3.2 grams of uh, 23, almost 24 grams of gold, 16 grams silver and 1% copper. But it was a real, uh, you know, a really high grade pop of 167 gram gold, 112 gram silver and 6% copper over a half a meter, which is really good. Um, it kind of matched the... Uh, the model that we've tried to prove so far. And in connection with the last result that we did uh, two weeks ago, approximately, um, where we were showing and demonstrating that it was opening at depth, we had like more, more lower grade, but more, more width. Uh, remember, I think we had like 1.5 gram over 28 meters and uh, 0.33 over 50 meters. So these type of setup, uh, and uh, I mean, results are, are really good for us. Um, mm -hmm. We're really excited. Uh, we think it, it keeps demonstrating the potential. And in connection with the Giro survey that we're doing now, it, 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 we think that we really have finally grab, you know, we're able to unlock the mystery of Obowski so far. <laughs> yeah, certainly. So, so that completes uh, the drilling on phase one then, right? Was it 14 holes that you did in total? Yeah. So we've completed like, but this was this was the drilling hole, the drilling we've done uh, during the summer. And we stopped in uh, early October, because you know we were waiting for the grade. It was really important we get the grade back from the lab mm. to be able to you know validate what we were seeing on the core from the lab. Mm. Uh, we are starting today another the phase two, so mm. we're going to implement about six seven thousand meter in two phase because we're really close from Christmas break. So we're going to do as much as we can before the break, and after that we'll pursue after Christmas, of course. So we're going to test a zone A and some deeper hole target. Uh, as per the model that we have uh, been developing for the last few months. So you mentioned you've got more uh, width of in, in terms of the, um, the veins um, than expected. Um, what about the depth as well? You know, you've been sort of drilling deeper than initially expected. You know, how, how, how deep does this, uh, the quality of this um, asset go? Well, um, as we go deeper, it, it gets in some way better. So as you, just for example, the target that we had this morning, uh, was it at 330 meters depth, which is it's quite good. You know, usually the higher grade on Obalski were on, on surface, really narrow, like almost on surface, yeah. Mm -hmm. But now to see that at 330 meters and you have this, uh, this shoot coming up, in the previous campaign back in winter, we had also some good grade 67 grams and stuff like that, over half a meter, one meter. So it's demonstrated that, yes, you have a, a really large envelope, thick envelope of, you know, 0.5 up to two meter approximately. Uh, two grams and but after that within with that massive envelope you do have like some high grade shoot uh, that we've been intersecting so far so at depth seems to be really good for us also very good uh, okay so um tell us about these gyroscopic surveys that you're conducting as well and you know how's this going to better define the resource well for us the gyroscopic uh, survey that we did came from uh, you know we were actively pursuing a pulse EM, and then we did the Giro, like we've said mm -hmm. previously. And when we saw what the, gyros the gyroscope uh, data, we were like, oh, well, okay. The historical hold deviates a lot, like, but not just a little bit, like 50, 7,500 and more meters mm -hmm. as you go deeper. Right now, the rule I can say, we kind of see to be confirmed in the next week or two, it's for every under meter of a vertical dead that we had from historical data, the deviation will range from 30 to 50 meters per 
per every 100 meters of depth. So if you were targeting something at 300 meters de deep, it, it deviated by about 100 meters, 125 meters. So it's really, it was, it was basically getting you really off shoot like all the time. So that this is something we're kind of, okay. So it, it explained a lot of things actually. <laughs> you know, if you look at this section, um, it puts a greater context also about all the large zone that we have. And in the middle, sometimes they had like different geology or alteration that explained because basically the reported drill hole is not really there right now. It's there, yes. But physically, the target that was hit was maybe 100 meters. Now we're doing 40 holes. Um, whether we're going to be able to get these 40 holes, it's a different story. Um, we've discovered recently that everything before 87 and 82 and before, they were taking out the, the casing. So, you know, at least we have some initial data, but everything from 87, 88, and 89, we can use them. Most of the time, they're also the, one of the best holes. Um, so if we have a good sample, we'll put out also to the market, we'll show, we'll demonstrate, and you know, we'll discuss also the uh, strategy in connection with the Giro and the next drilling, what we can see. We will also most likely adjust uh, this deviation, right? So it will help put everything back in well, realign, if I can say, I think is the proper expression, yeah. Yeah, certainly. Um, so in terms of your analysis of what you've done so far with Wabowski, is there any, are you waiting on anything else um, before you start this? Uh, you know, you've kicked off phase two today, you say, but are you waiting on anything else back from the lab? So have you got everything that you need and you're just going to go ahead now with the drain? Right now we got everything from the lab. Uh, phase one is finished. The only thing we're missing is uh, the final interpretation of the gyroscopic that we've completed mm -hmm. also for the holes. Yep. We don't have for the holes. Like maybe we have half of them. That was re we're able to scope. So then we're doing the math, we're doing the, you know, redoing the section and the reinterpretation. Uh, so we're working on that. As soon as we're gonna have that, we're gonna also probably release it to the market so people can make their own mind about it. But mm -hmm. for us, this was really, this is really critical. You know, you're talking a project that's been in existence for over a hundred, about a hundred years, mm -hmm. you know, 75, 100,000 meter of drilling, 600 holes, 586 actually. Mm -hmm. So. A lot of data, but a lot of people went and, you know, showing great goods intersection, but it was hard to put it together. Mm -hmm. But if you're using data that is exists, but it's wrong, if I can say, mm -hmm. of course, it can really uh, lead you to drill the nut. The, the target is not really adjusted for you, right? So, mm -hmm. so this is yeah critical. So now we, now we got everything. That's why we're initiating a program to basically continue what we were doing uh, last summer. And after that, in connection with the gyroscopic uh, survey and the data, we'll adjust the next drill hole as we go forward. So overall, it's um, uh, the expectations are, uh, are improved for Abalski, would you say? Yeah, well, of course it does. No, Abalski, uh, no. It, well, it's always a project that I like, we like internally. But no, right now with, you know, the, the recent drill hole, what we've discovered with the gyro, it, yeah, no, seriously, the, the profile of the project really increased significantly for us and the potential too. Very good. Um, so looking into 2022 then, when we do restart off the Christmas break, hopefully you'll have a lot more of that phase two drilling underway. Um, but what are the key milestones that the investors can look out for or, or be watching for in your new space? Well, key milestone for the tech company in early 2022 will be also the drill, drill result from this period that we're drilling now, uh, the extension of the drilling program. Um, we might consider drilling maybe on Azar. We've talked about that a lot during 2021. Um, it's a, an area that will make sense to drill in the winter. Uh, we expect also the whole area, Monster, South Nilligan, and everybody to get more active. So it would be good also to get some traction out of, of this, of course. Mm -hmm. So I think it will be good. So yeah, so drilling, more drilling on Obalski, more drilling potentially on Azar, but this is to be validated. Um, so yeah, so drill, drill, result, drill, result, but quite active on Obalski most likely. Yeah, certainly. Um, and, and just in terms of like your um, the financials at the moment, um, you've completed yes. phase one, which is excellent. Um, have you got uh, enough cash uh, in the company to execute on uh, the phase two? Yes, we do. 
Excellent. Like you said, like I said uh, many times in the past, um, we are well capitalized. We have a we're still sitting on our strong balance sheet of shares of other companies when we mm -hmm. sold the minority interests that we had last year in 2020. So shares of IM Gold, Pacton, and Goliath. So yes, it's uh, something that uh, we have six, seven million dollar of cash in equivalent. So no, we we have no issue on that point. Well, David, that's excellent to hear, and we look forward to catching up on Abowski and your other projects again in early 2022. Thanks for speaking with us, ATV, today. Yes, thank you very much to you.